three hairs of a lion. Nana's mother died when he was 11 years old. His father married another woman, Afia by name. Nana did not like Afia, but Afia began to love the boy very much and tried to be a good mother to him. She always made good breakfasts, dinners and suppers, but he did not eat them. She bought him many good clothes, but he did not look at them. She gave him new shoes, but he went to the river and threw the shoes into the water. When she spoke to him, he always ran away. One day, the poor woman said to Nana, I always wanted to have a son, and now I have you. Nana, I love you very much, my dear boy. But Nana said angrily, I am not your son, and you are not my mother. My mother is dead. I do not love you, and I will never love you. Efia was very sorry and cried all night. In the morning, she decided to go to the wise old man. She told him about Nana, who did not love her. The old man said, I can help you, but first you must bring me three heads of a lion. But, but how can I do this? The lion will kill me, Efia said. The old man said, I cannot answer your question. I need three hairs of a lion. Try to get them. Afia went out to try to get the hairs. She went far, far away from her house and came to a place where a lion lived. The lion was very big and roared angrily. He was hungry. Afia was afraid of him and ran away quickly. But the next day, she came back with some meat for the lion. She put the meat not far away from the lion and ran away. The lion saw the meat and went to it. He ate it all very quickly. The next day, she again brought some meat for the lion and put it a little nearer. And again, the lion ate it all up. Every day, Efia brought some meat for the lion and the lion understood that the woman was his friend. He was not angry at the woman and he did not roar. He was happy to see her. And one day, Efia came very near to the lion and gave him the meats from her hand. At the same time, she tore three hairs off his back. The lion was not angry Afia ran to the old man and showed him the hairs. What must I do with them now? She asked. Nothing, he answered. But you know how to go near a lion, little by little, step by step. Do the same with Nana. And I am sure he will love you.